amor está cansado Leio em teus olhos Recordações de um passado Leio em teus olhos Que eu já não sou nesta hora O que fui para ti outra hora Leio em teus olhos O amor de alguém É inconstante Logo que vem Vai um instante Vê lá se o teu Já não está Muito diferente Continua igual ao meu Como ele era... Fado music is passion And it's, uh, it's very poetic You put a lot of weight Into every little single word that you sing It's different from the other types of music that I sing Because it's, it's that And it's also Saudade. Saudade is a Portuguese word for um, a longing for someone or a place that's special to you. Usually we wear black when we sing Father. It doesn't have to be, there's no rule. It's a respect that is given uh, to Father. <laughs> My name is Tony Gouveia. I am a Fado singer and I came to Canada when I was 13 and uh, here I am um, being able to sing this great music of Portugal, Fado. As soon as I arrived here in Canada, I felt very welcomed. And I think it's, that's part of the Canadian thing, that we are very open. To, we are a country of immigrants and uh, we all came from somewhere. And the great thing is that we can be ourselves. We can be, I can be Portuguese, but I can also be Canadian. We came to Canada who right away. Um, we have a Portuguese club here in Kitchener. And my parents and I and my sister, we would go to the Portuguese club every Saturday and there would be live entertainment, so Portuguese bands playing. So I always kept very close to, to, that, to the music and, and to the culture. So we came here, yeah, October the 24th, and we started school right away. So at the end of two weeks, I did my first speech in English. Stated my name, the name of my teacher, and I said, I like Canada very much, thank you. That was about the extent of my first speech in English. I also remember the first time I went out for Halloween. I didn't, I had just been in Canada for two weeks and I didn't know how to say trick-a-treat. I didn't know how to say trick-a-treat. I said trick-a-trick. 
you know? And uh, so one lady, uh, she goes, what is he saying? Because he, I, was, I was with my new classmates and uh, I says, oh, he's just here from Portugal, you know? So the lady was very nice and she says, uh, hey, ask him to sing a Portuguese song. That will be uh, the, the treat and then I'll give you a treat. So I remember, I can't remember which song I sang, but I sang something in Portuguese and she filled my bag with candy. And I thought, this is great, Canada is great. Definitely, I, my singing comes from my father's side of the family. My mother, she's a great cook, <laughs> and, but uh, that's, singing is not her talent. But uh, really, the interest for music really started here in Canada. Um, because I um, started, again, going to the Portuguese club, listening to bands all the time. And then uh, a friend lent me a guitar. It was cracked and very rusty, but it was good enough to get started. Now, my father, you know, I, I was sort of learning on my own and taking lessons from uh, just from a friend. And after six months, he goes, chon, 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 that's all you can do, man? Chon, 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 you've been there in your room, chon, chon, for six months. Quando ela passa, fazina cheia de graça. Sempre o ar chalaça O seu olhar Um engano Lá vai Catita Cada dia mais bonita O seu vestido de chita É sempre o ar Um engano Passa ligeira Alegre e namoradeira A sorrir para a rua inteira Semeando ilusões Quando ela passa Vai vender limões à praça E até lhe chamam Por graça A vozinha dos limões My dad did sing Fado for the family and his, uh, and his workmates But um, Fado was not part of my world but then I met a woman uh, that loved Fado, and she wanted to hear Fado all the time. It was in the car, it was during meal time, everywhere, all the time. And then I was bitten by this little, by the Fado bug. And uh, it was really because of her, of Elizabeth, that uh, I got into Fado. A lot of my friends were very surprised. What, you're gonna sing Fado? That's old folks music. I said, uh, no, I, I, I like it and I wanna do it. The music that I sing, Fado means destiny, so fate. Definitely, I think it was in the cards that we would meet and the music that we both love brought us, also brought us together. And I grew as a Fado singer and she herself then later on became a Fado singer as well. I was born in Lisbon, but my wife, Elizabeth, she's from the island of São Miguel in the Azores. And uh, the funny thing, even though Fado is from Lisbon, many people that play and sing Fado in North America were originally from uh, São Miguel. Some of our greatest Portuguese guitar players that we've had here 
in, in North America. So definitely, Fado is in every little corner of the world, wherever there are Portuguese, because the Portuguese, they take the national song, Fado is our national song. Fado music, this urban folk music, um, it carries a lot of, uh, you know, sadness and also the nostalgic feel. And we have this word in Portuguese that's saudad, which is really a longing for someone or a place. Um, that is primarily the mood of, of Fado. Fado is, speaks to the heart and tells stories of lost love. Portuguese guitar is so important to Fado. You cannot have Fado without the Portuguese guitar. The Portuguese guitar, I believe, is the instrument that identifies Fado. I'm not going to say that it's the most important instrument, because the other instruments are just as important, but it identifies the sound of Fado. Uh, it reacts to the singer. The singer is talking and singing about um, a topic, and the guitar answers the singer in that aspect. So it is a very important instrument. I, I like to think that it's the sound of our Portuguese culture. I tend to believe that the Portuguese guitar was inherited from the English um, and that uh, we took that instrument, which was the guitar or the sitar, and we changed the instrument to adapt to what we believed was the sound we needed. So many, many, many years ago, uh, that instrument took on a new shape it became a little bit wider, and we developed the tuning mechanism that is that you see on the Portuguese guitar. Oh, <laughs> 
Quando dormes Quando dormes ao meu lado A vida dorme lá fora There are many theories how Fado started. It's been around for uh, over 200 years. Some theories uh, do believe that it was influenced by uh, all the people that would come to Lisbon from uh, all different parts of the world. And some of them believe there was at one time that it was a dance that came from Brazil. I also hear uh, a little bit of the uh, Arabic uh, wailing type of singing in it. I think it's... It's definitely Portuguese, because <laughs> it doesn't exist anywhere else. But it may have influences from uh, other places, since Lisbon was such a, a, a huge port, and so many people came from all over the world there. Mãe negra desce com ela Mãe negra Não sabe nada Mãe negra Não sabe nada Nem boncavilhas vermelhas Nem vestidinhos de folhos Nem brincadeiras de guizos Nas suas mãos apertadas Só duas lágrimas grossas Em duas faces cansadas Só duas lágrimas grossas Em duas faces cansadas Mãe negra Negras, it's called so black mother, and so it's really also talks about the experience of this uh, black woman. Portugal had many colonies in Africa, and so what would happen very often, these black ladies would raise the white kids, you know, and it's a nostalgic look. Where are the, these kids now? Uh, and the stories that she used to tell uh, to, to these kids, and she may not know a lot about the world, but that was her world. And uh, it's uh, a song that I could really relate to lyrically. Que costumava contar Que eu me gono as histórias Que costumava contar Mãe negra Não sabe nada There are three styles, which are the traditional styles of fado. There's nor, there's one called muraria, and there's one that's very quick, uh, which Tony also sang today, which was the trigueirinha, that talked about the green-eyed girl that, you know, uh, the guy was kind of saying, hey, you're a great-looking girl, but can you sing fado?
triguirinha acerta o passo ao bater do coração A tufa do triguirinha dá-me a cor à tua mão Triguirinha acerta o passo ao bater do coração I do have some original numbers. I definitely will sing one of them, which is called Linda Lua dos Amantes, which uh, as in the title, it refers to the moon. And that, that song has a story, it's personal. Uh, so uh, my wife and I, we had a, a ritual when we started going out and we first got married, that quite often after I got home from a show, if she was home, she would prepare uh, a meal for when I got home. So it would be crab legs, and uh, some Portuguese uh, vinho verde. Um, and so um, after one of these uh, meals, um, the moon was coming in through the big window of the dining room. Uh, and I said, wow, well, look at that moon just coming in here. And I grabbed my guitar and I start, uh, you know, with the moon, inspired by the moon, and maybe with a little influence of the wine as well, uh, we start. The song came about, and so in about 20 minutes, I, I had the pretty well the song. <laughs> Olha ali que linda lua Não é minha nem é tua Ela não é de ninguém Mas os amantes que ela tem Olha ali que linda lua Não é minha nem é tua Ela não é de ninguém Mas os amantes que ela tem Lua, lua Fado has made a huge difference. Fado has evolved um, what used to be the traditional Fado with two instruments, the Portuguese guitar and the viola, the classical guitar. Now is the Portuguese guitar, classical guitar and bass. Uh, acoustic bass or stand-up bass. Um, right now, they've added percussion, uh, as we, we uh, added tonight, we added the cajon to Fado. They've added percussion to Fado as well, and piano, and other instruments. Uh, so it, uh, it's evolving, Fado is evolving. O Fado perdeu a graça, aquela raça afadistada Deixou de ser desordeiro e companheiro da ramboiada Estes fadistas agora trazem o fado virado Nos retiros e salões cantam canções em vez de fado For me, music is not... It's not only something that will make me dance or something that will make me cry. It's my life. If I were to take away music from my life, and I believe anyone, if you were to say, from now on, I'm not going to listen to music ever again, we would die much quicker. I believe that music, the energy that it supplies us with, is very important to our survival. What we really love about Canada is, uh, well, nature. Some of the songs I write, I have been, they have been influenced by my travels as well. Uh, I've written songs about my travels in North Africa um, when places are so different. Uh, you know, uh, 
or even to Cuba. When I hear people say bad things about Canada, complaining about Canada, I says, all you have to do is actually go to Cuba. I still have to make it to the Rockies. I mean, I've been to Banff, but I haven't had the chance to actually go hiking in the mountains there. That's uh, something on the bucket list. And make it also all, all the way to the West Coast. That would also be great. Pomba branca, pomba branca, já perdi o teu voar naquela terra distante, toda coberta pelo mar. Pomba branca, pomba branca, já perdi o teu voar naquela terra distante. When I feel that I can now um, pass this thing that's called Fado, and when I sing other types of music as well, is that you have, I have this gift that I share with people, and then people, I also get so much back from their energy. So basically, that's a, a great thing to have, this back and forth thing, and thanks to music. Traziam roupas felizes As crianças dos países Esses barcos ao chegar Pomba branca, pomba branca Já perdi o teu voar Naquela terra distante Toda coberta pelo mar Pomba branca, pomba branca, já perdi o teu voar naquela terra distante, toda coberta pelo mar. Depois, mais tarde, ao perder-me por ruas de outras cidades, cantei meu amor ao vento. Que sentia saudades, saudades do meu lugar, do primeiro amor da vida, da distância a aproximar os campos do meu lugar, a chegada e a partida, pomba branca, pomba branca. Já perdi o teu voar Naquela terra distante Toda coberta por mar Pomba branca, pomba branca Já perdi o teu voar Naquela terra distante Toda coberta por mar 